Everything has been a nice experience, and I haven't really felt as if I want to move away. I've lived in Newcastle Gate for 28 years. Since I was born, and I've lived here for about a couple of years. 1994, uh, 24th of August. Since 1981. 13 years. 25, 30 years. 6 years. Nearly 15 years in New Cross. 13 years. I've been in New Cross now for the last uh, 5 or 6 years. London, I've been here for pretty much half of my life. Half of my family lives here. And uh, I happened to come across this restaurant, as I said, 5 or 6 years ago, and thought this food was not just um, authentic, but it's just like my grandma used to make it. And this is a place I want to hang out for a while. Oh. I like the community because everybody is like kind and helpful. It's quite vibrant, lots of um, different cultures. The interesting thing I think about New Cross Gate in this area is that there is a strong community feel about everyday life or you know but at the same time what I like about living in London is the anonymity you can just get on and do and people aren't bothering you so there's a friendliness and there's a concern but people aren't in your faces they're not twitching at the lace curtains and um, there's a degree of freedom. New Crossgate is a, mul a multicultural um, community you meet a lot of people and children um, uh, growing up in this area they learn to adapt into uh, uh, diverse cultures I love South London, um, New Cross in particular, I really, really like. If you come around this area, I work at Haberdasher Asks Hatcham College, I love the surrounding area, Telegraph Hill, the diversity of South London, in particular this part of Lewisham, is fantastic. So, what are the people of New Cross Gate like? Well, they're the they're in... friendly and you can get on with them. The it's just like New... any other neighbourhood. So <laughs> <you do get. laughs> the things I like about New Cross Gate are feeling safe in my own area, um, being able to just walk up the road and I'm in the park and having different friends, just not ones in school. The park, mm, the people, the school. There's a lot of friendly people, it's a real serious mix of characters, cultures, some middle class, some working class, it's just a huge mixture and I, I, that's what I like about it really. The things I like about New Cross Gate uh, definitely Telegraph Hill Park where I'm standing now because it's amazing and it's a nice place. Um, I like the schools, Haberdashers asks where I go and the neighbourhood around New Cross is quite nice. I like quite a lot about New Cross. No, there's lots of green around here. You don't get that in East London. It's not green. <laughs> look, it's true, look, what colours? East London's like grey a lot. It's, like, it's upsetting. It's green here, like, it looks like everyone's happy. The best thing about living in New Cross are that there's a Sainsbury's real, really nearby and there's this, the best school in, in London, so it's really good. Um, it's lively, it's... Um, always full of new energy every year there's a new influx of students which uh, I think helps keep it alive but also the local people who've been living here much longer are very friendly um, and despite um, possibly 
a bad reputation, I've, uh, I, I feel safe and happy living here. Because I always hear in like the Newcross Gate post that there's always like stuff going on up at the church. There's a lot of sports, good people, there's enough stuff in Newcross. Of course there are positive things here in Newcross Gate. For example, you've got probably the most accessible way to travel across the rest of the city. You've got the East London Line, you've got the DLR, you've got seven minutes to London Bridge. And really it's just a main road from the coast into the heart of London, so you feel as if you're at the centre of the centre of things. It's great seeing all these foreign coaches arriving and people looking through the windows thinking, oh, so this is England, it's like their first first view, for, for a lot of them, of, um, of what England's about, all this strange country with um, drives on the left and people wearing strange clothes, and which come through New Cross, people are wearing strange clothes because it's quite a, uh, a young, adventurous, uh, clothing-wise, style-wise place, isn't it? You've got Goldsmith University down the street, so always on my trains or on the DLR. So all these funky dressed people with their artwork, which I really, really like. Even the bins have got a cow print on them, which I always love. For some reason, it cheers me up. I'm easily pleased. Every day I had a different story to tell. Shopkeepers around were friendly. Yeah, and just the people were really nice. Everything's changing in Newcross now since we was young, like, like they changed the community centre. It used to be, yeah, it's getting lit dirty. now. But when I came here, I, I went to like some of the Venture Pragon, there's really good people there that you could talk to and hang around with. I think people seem to get together more here, complete strangers. For example, um, my daughter's school burnt down during the school holidays and a lot of the parents who I hadn't really talked to before have been really friendly and everybody's been supporting each other. Even the children, you know, um, have been very, you know, they've tried to come through it as best they can. So I find that kind of community element where you can be complete strangers one day, but then the next, you know, everybody's kind of together. Uh, New Cross Gate's a bit like that. If you need stuff, it, it kind of, it's there. We found all the actors, we found, obviously we found the writer, I directed before, so everything we needed was there. We made a soap opera and it was all part of the Telegraphic Arts Festival. It was very successful, it cost a thousand pounds. We made our money back on, on, the, uh, on the gala premiere showing. Um, it's an amazing thing, if you do something locally um, and show it locally, people really love it. They love to see themselves on film, they love to see their, lo their, their area on film. Um, and we're planning to do it again, it was such a success. Very nice uh, community, friendly, friendly people. Teachers are always nice. New How is Newcross Gate? <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut that, cut that. Newcross Gate is the place to be. You can, you can come and see the diversity. If you see us on the roads, don't think we're hood rats, we're just trying to make the mad dull. So there is that buzz, you know, there is that want to do things, um, but maybe, you know, there needs to be more focused on, on, on actually, okay, yeah. you know, getting more projects set up to, you know, enable young people to do things. I feel with New Cross, there's a, it's almost, there's an underlying buzz that's almost coming out. And I think we just need to just break through the ceiling. Like, it's there. You know, we've, we've got all the things that we need and we've got the young people coming out and they're not sort of waiting for the 40, 50, 30 years, even though I'm 30, to, you know, to sort of tell them what to do. Like, it's, it's there and it's just, if you give them the right access and stuff, it's, you know, it's, we, we can push through. And I think that's the most positive thing that when you look at an area like this, you know that it's there and it's just about it just coming up from the surface, really. Cross Gate is the place to be. You can, you can come and see the diversity. If you see us on the roads, don't think we're hood rats, we're just trying to make the mad doll.